Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello puppies. This is another mathematics class prepared by Mrs. Jimo from CTY International School, Ring Road, Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Last class we learned addition of fractions with the same denominators. Addition of fractions with the same denominators. Today's topic is subtraction of fractions with the same denominators. Let's say it everyone, subtraction of fractions with the same denominators. We have examples as follows. The first example says 3 over 5 minus 2 over 5. 3 over 5 minus 2 over 5. 3 over 5 is a fraction, Y 2 over 5 is also a fraction. 3 is called numerator. Let's say it everyone. Numerator. Y2 is also called numerator because they are both written on top of 5. So 5 and 5 that we are having here, they are both called denominators. So we have two denominators. But the two denominators we are having are the same. Subtraction of fractions with the same denominators. Our denominators are two, but they are the same figure. Now, let's see how to solve this question. We have 3 over 5 minus 2 over 5. We will count 3 and take away 2. Then we write an answer over one of the denominators is to be picked. We are going to count three now. Let's count three. One, two, three. Let's take away two. One, two. Let's count the remaining one. Our answer equals one over. Then we are going to pick one of the denominators we have. Five and five are both the denominators we have. So we are to pick one of them. That's why our answer equals one over five. Is it clear? Now let's go to number two. Number two question says 5 over 6 minus 3 over 6. We are to count 5 and take away 3. Then we write our answer over. We have two denominators here. The two denominators we are having are 6 and 6. They are the same figure. So we are going to pick just one out of the two denominators. Now let's do it. Let's count five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's take away three. One, two, three. Let's count the remaining. One, two. Our answer equals two. Five minus three equals two. Over, then we pick one denominator out of the two denominators we are given. The denominators we have here are both six so we are going to pick just one six our answer equals two over six is it taken yes number three three over four minus one over four let's count three one two three let's take away one one let's count the remaining one two our answer equals two then the denominators are 4 and 4. We have to pick just one of them. So our final answer equals 2 over 4. Is it taken? Yes. I can hear some people saying yes. Why some are saying no? It's very, very simple and straightforward. Let's see it again. In subtraction of fractions with the same denominators, your denominators are two. You will be given two denominators, which are number one. In number one, we have five and five as our denominators. The rule says we are not to minus the denominators, but to pick just one of them. 
we are only two minus numerators. That's why we counted three and take away two from it in number one. And that gives us one over five. Look at number two. In number two, we also have the same denominators. So we have to pick one of them. We first count the first, the first numerator, which is five. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five. Then we take away three from it. Let's do that. One, two, three. Let's count the remaining. One, two. Our answer equals what? Two. Then we are to pick just one out of the two denominators we have. So we are to pick just one says. Our final answer is two over six. The same thing in number three. We have three over four minus one over four. Count three, take away one, write your answer, then pick one of the denominators. So our answer in number three equals two over four. You can see that is a very, very simple topic. This topic is a very simple topic. It's simple, very, very simple and straightforward. Thank you.